As we discussed in the previous lecture, uh, so we should consider that the input sequence is very long, lengthy sequence. So its length will be in terms of thousand. Okay, and the impulse response is very short, depending upon the order of the filter. We'll be having the length of the impulse response. So if this is L less, if the length of input sequence is L less, and length of impulse response is M. So in order to perform Circular convolution of these two, I have to add appropriate number of zeros to the shorter length, and I have to perform the circular convolution, which is very tedious, right? So we discussed in the previous lecture. So for that, what we do, we are going to cut this lengthy sequence into segments, individual segments. We call it as segment one, segment two, segment three, and so on. Segment, segment L. Your length of these segments is capital L, and And what is L? L is m n minus m plus one. Where what is n? Block length. And what is m? M is the length of impulse response, length of h of n, right? So from this I can write it in terms of block length, which is n is equal to L plus m minus one. Now I need to convert these individual segments into blocks, and we call it as x one of n. X one of n I have to convert into block of length. Capital N. So how do we do that? So we the first segment has to be put as it is. This is segment one, which has a length of capital L, right? So what is the rest of the sample, which is m minus one? Because I want this length to be capital N. The rest of the sample is m minus one. So what we do is this m minus I'll write it here. M minus one zeros. I need to pad. So that the total length is capital N. Similarly, x2 of n is also so the same way. This second segment has to be kept at the beginning. This is segment two, and rest of the m minus one samples have to pad with zeros, so that the total length is capital N. So I have to keep on doing it. This as it uh, I have to keep on doing this until I get all the elements in a block as zeros. Okay. So x, what is the last length? Which is L of n is equal to. This is segment L, segment L, and last m minus one zeros I need to pad. Okay, so this length is also capital N. Fine. Now I have to make h of n length also same because we are performing circular convolution. So its length is m. So I need uh, how many zeros I need to pad? L minus one zeros I need to pad, so L minus one zeros I need to pad so that the total length is capital N. So after this, I want to I have to perform circular convolution of input first block with the impulse response, second block with the impulse response, and so on. Last block with the impulse response. So y one of n is nothing but what x one of n, x one of n n point circularly convolved with h of n. Y two of n is equal to x two of n. n point circularly convolved with h of n so on y l of n is equal to x l of n with circularly convolved with h of n right so what we get y1 of n of what is the length of y1 of n it is capital n right because it's a circular convolution so y2 of n also i get its length as n y3 of n also its length is n And so on. Y L of n. This length is also capital N. Now, in order to get the final output Y of n, what we do is, I'll write it here. So this is my Y one of n. So last m minus one sample of Y one of n is added with first m minus one sample of Y two of n. The first m minus one sample of Y two of n is added with Last m minus one sample of y one of n. Similarly, last m minus one sample of y two of n is added with first m minus one sample of y three of n. So sample of these and these is added. Sample of these m minus one uh, elements will be added, and goes on. 
yl of n dot 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 so this will be my yl of n okay so to get y of n to get y of n so this is my y of n so this sample as it is i have to write here whereas these samples is added these two added sample again this as it is i have to put it here and this sample is added of these two and this goes on fine so this is the uh, final output of a overlap add method